each mantra, each mantra is a prayer that is repeated infinitely. A mantra is any prayer repeated infinitely because so is your breathing while you're on this planet and your existence. Well, the breathing will stop, but you will continue to function on this planet. As long as we are on this planet and even beyond it, to be joyous, we rise the waves of this energy of this prayers. And to be free, we send our breathes, our breathing energy, our prayers, our soul energy, we send it to others as service. So just feel in the process of sending love to others how the mantra vibration unleashes an energy from inside you, but falling over your body and from your heart, you're sending it to the people who are others, but in reality, via mantra power and via the power of the heart, which is open, connected, intimate, so that you can exchange praying energy, heal the other person, and in the process, be yourself also, be Healed. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. As you receive with Om Namo Shivai, the prayer goes out from your heart, unlocking the energy in the center of the universe because the center of the universe and the deepest part of your heart are one and the same point. As you unlock the doors to the deepest part of the universe inside your heart, the, the unleashing of the energy happens from above, coming down as a pouring rain of golden love and clarity on your head, going through you to your heart, washing your heart and head of all heaviness. Everyone has got thoughts, some good, some bad. But when we give value to this thought, oh, this is good, this is bad, I want this, I don't want this, it becomes heavy with our desire. A thought becomes a desire, becomes heavy, starts to rest in our heart. So in our eyes, and our body is given to navigate on this planet so that, that we can serve others. And most people nowadays start living for the navigation system. 
it's we are captains on a ship meant to serve humanity by taking and doing various things and instead the captain starts to think that the ship and him are the same and in fact the captain starts to think oh my ship will look beautiful oh it does a, it it should be painted it should be dressed it should be looking nice it should be having good oil and totally forgets about his own spiritual health and then when we have issues we call out and we of course the universe doesn't get it we call out and then say i'm feeling bad and he says no you are the captain of your own ship and you are you're doing okay and he says no 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 it's getting rusty and the universe can't get it i need more oil i need more company and that or all these things are parameters of the ship aka body or our car or our means of transport on this planet and no matter how much we think or what we think we have to let go of this uh, body even if we would take care of it constantly by going to the gym which we can't but even if we would eat right live right and all that eat right live right is very important as buddha said but instead of living right we start thinking that going to the gym is the right life it's not or eating good food or biologically clean food no it's not it helps or may help avoiding crashy food but not really so our job is that we serve others using our body mind and intellect and behind this body which comes and goes mind which keeps on changing intellect which is just your way of thinking but even that changes with time you don't think the same way that you did 10 years ago hopefully not certainly not the same way that you thought when you were a child or you were a teenager so everything is changing but we have, beyond this is a wall of energy that we call aura and that is sort of like a spirit but with personality so you will see even the people who die they don't really always achieve enlightenment you can die and say oh i still want to i am still in love i still want to be near my house or this or you still can be saving things you still can have a lot of desire and then you cannot escape the planet even though now you are free you can become a ghost going around there is a, there are another other type of souls also who can say i oh now that i am free i want to serve and they can become angels and the others they just become ghosts going around and looking for some sort of an appeasement at the end of the day because when they were having a body and the senses were very strong because the spirits have got very uh, very subtle but they are there so spiritual uh, spiritual energy can also have a personality the likes or dislikes but beyond that is the total soul which is the root of the tree of the whole creation so each one of us has a body is like a leaf we are different and we can be jealous of other leaves or that leaf is at a higher angle that leaf is but we are all connected with branches but we can still say oh my branch is over out here i am in north america this is my branch and this so we are still but then even though we are differentiated as leaves that's our body mind intellect at the very core of the root we are one and that root we are we are one we can only access that when our heart is open connected to others and a flow of energy of love is flowing through us and this flow of energy flowing through the heart is cleaning our heart our heads so whoever is accepting our love and energy is also providing service to us just the same way that we are providing service to them by letting 
what they had asked of the universe. If you are over out here in this class, it's not a coincidence. Means you needed to get rid of something. And of course, the class needed to be becoming more experienced in becoming conductors of healing energy. So Om Namo Shiva. And an exchange of love and healing with total gratitude for being a participant in the process and changing your thinking so that you, we, none of us, has any desire except to serve. And when you are purely desireless, you are billion, zillion times more joyous than an actual billionaire or millionaire because they have a lot of comfort but most of them are miserable. If you are so stressed about money which comes up and down, money is also an energy. It comes and comes. It, it never stays with anyone stably. And most people feel happy when the, when the tide is uh, on one side and with the unhappy when the tide is going back. And everyone's life has, no one's life has got this, that the tide is going only one way. It does never happens. Money is all, like everything, it's also an energy. It comes and goes, but people feel happy when it comes and sad when it goes. If you lost one dollar, you feel, or did not succeed in buying something during the sale, you feel sad. If you, you, you paid less or found something free, you feel happy. And that makes you think that monies and things are happiness. It's not. Happiness is the joy of giving service. And when you are giving service, if you are thinking, I am doing this, a lot of healers come to me at times because they are, uh, they think that they are helping the other person. No. When you think that the flow of energy of healing is happening through you and your ego, which wants to take this uh, self-important role, I am doing this and I am doing that and I am having and I want to be doing this. When that is, those thoughts are negated out and you are purely an instrument of the universe. Fully aware that you are an eternal soul with nothing small about it. Everything about you is grand. Om Namo. So stop seeing yourself as the small person with these thoughts and these hurts and these desires. Totally become an instrument, an eternal instrument of the Lord spreading love. You are all feeling the vibration. As you open your, as you pray with Om Namo Shiva, your heart opens up. You can reach to the deepest part of the heart and the deepest part of the heart and the center of the universe where the creator is. The creator is pure love. Is the same. So when you open this from above, a rain of pure love and healing, golden light is falling. Om, you accept your divine nature. You accept that you are not this small human being. You are neither the body, neither the mind, neither the intellect, neither the energy. You are the fifth indescribable force, which is pure love, pure vibration of love. And as you unlock, as you become aware that you are pure love and nothing else, you start to unlock your powers of cognizance, of third eye, of being able to work with energy, of knowing all. Whatever you want to know for your spiritual benefit, you can ask. 
not out of curiosity, but for your spiritual bliss. And whoever you want to exchange love with, you can do it right now. Om Namo Shiva. As you radiate love, all the stress leaves you. Your whole inner universe is full of balance. And each organ is smiling. The liver is smiling. There is no anger. The kidneys are smiling. There is no fear. The spine is smiling because there is no fear and stress. The head is full of gratitude. Each and every brain cell is radiating golden and white light. And you have full belief in who you are, that you are deep inside the behind the body, mind, intellect and energy. You are a divine soul power. Without a name, without a face, you are just a presence, but pure love. Om Namah As the pure energy of love, you have no desires but to help others. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. And of course, you have had many lives. I'm going to talk about Shankara, the teacher who in the 5th century saved Hinduism. Hinduism had become like in the 16th century, Catholicism was there. Only the priests were knowing Sanskrit and were translating and the priests were the intermediaries if you wanted to pray to God and they were making a lot of money and people were very, uh, people were, the priesthood was living very rich and just like in the and they were doing various rituals, etc. This was 5th century BC. And Hinduism was uh, becoming more and more about the 84 million gods and all that. The actual teaching is that everything is a part of God. But you can take it at a surface. Oh, there are so many millions of gods. So that was a, it was going with the wrong interpretation. And it was getting bogged down. And at that time, there was boy, born a boy, because this is the 5th century and the boy, his writings are real, but he is a legend. His name is Shankara. So Shankara and Acharya means a teacher of this, a scholar. And he is supposed to be the guru of gurus. So Shankara Acharya wrote the treatise on the Upanishads, the Vedas, and he explained the Gita in a way which is even now thought. Otherwise, Gita, etc., had become very, very, uh, they had become very dense forests, which only the few uh, scholars uh, during their lifetimes would attempt, and the normal people would just get Sanskrit words which they would never understand. So he saved Hinduism. With his treatise. And when he was four, he was already master of the Vedas. When usually in those times, it took a one lifetime to achieve knowledge of one, one Veda. So he did that. And how? He was blessed, but also just like the other people who have an easy time, time in learning something. The past life they were there. Now, this past life concept is very much uh, misunderstood. Because people say, oh, how do you prove it? Well, you are on this planet and you are an eternal soul. Why do you think that you are on this planet the first time? You have relationships with your other people and there is always going to be a reason behind it. So I'm talking about the past life. Because without a belief that you had a past life, you're not going to be able to balance yourself out. Everyone has had something. Oh, I can say why was why I was born in India and not in the house of uh, in states or Rockefeller or so, whatever. Who could, everyone has a right to give that sort of question. But in a past life, we did certain things, and then in this life, we repaid them. What's the big deal about it? It's like going to a restaurant, you ordered food, and then you have to pay the bill. 
So a lot of times, a lot of things happen in our life. Sometimes these things we are asking for, just like people go to or used to go to dangerous places and do bungee jumping and all that. To get the adrenaline, so that's why we come to this planet. So that's why there are contrasts of good and bad. And some people will say, oh, I don't, I want the extreme sort of, I want extreme sport. I want, I'm going to be born in a third world country and I'm going to be going for an extreme sport. No hands, no legs. And I'll just pray without these things. You don't need anything for so. That person, even in a third world country without hands and legs, if he's playing for others, he is doing much better than us guys who have got all the comforts of North America and most of most people in North America nowadays because we think only about our body and think that only the body is the reality are depressed. And then we have this anger, why did this happen with me? Why did this not happen with me, etc. So in this life, we are paying for certain things which we had done in the past, but most of these payments take place when we are born to our parents. So most of the time, I see this a lot. People are born, let's say, a mother was very angry at her uh, daughter, one of her daughters. And then she was reborn to that daughter. And I saw that. And others saw it. And she had passed away with a lot of very good person, but she had passed away with judgment at someone and then she comes back as a daughter to the same doctor that she had judgment at. And that's what keeps on happening. If you have a strong judgment at something, you will come back to correct it. Let's say you are, you're thinking, oh, all the Islamic people are terrorists. Then once you die, you'll say, oh, I made a judgment call. Without understanding, I made a judgment call about a vast majority of this planet without understanding their culture. Oh Lord, may let me let me be a Islamic person or a person who who belong to the clan or white supremacy group. Will say, oh, I was so oh, I was so violent in my thoughts and behavior towards the colored people. Let me be born as a colored people so that I go through and I understand it and I have a balance. So everything has got a balance, but you have to look for the balance in yourself only. You cannot just be, the danger says then you can lose empathy. You can say, oh, this person is suffering probably because of his past life things. He's suffering, so I'm not going to be helping or I won't be having the same amount of empathy. You are not allowed to judge anyone or anything suffering. You don't know. We don't know. That other person may have come to help someone with his or her extreme amount of pain or grief that that person is going through. It's, it doesn't have to be always an answer. It could be that people could be uh, taking upon themselves the grief for different reasons. There are millions of reasons. The universe is very rich in one atom. There could be millions of Milky Ways. The whole of the Earth is just like an electron. And each electron on this planet can have millions of their own Milky Way. So it is infinities are so much that our puny mind cannot absorb or cannot even relate to it so much. So the infinity that we can understand is the infinity of things in number. So we can say, oh, how many people are there and how many thoughts they have? And that becomes an infinity. We know we are around 4 billion and there every person has got around 17,000 thoughts, for example, then you can, and you have, but it still is large enough. You can say, oh, the number of stars is there. But all these numbers of infinities is nothing compared to your true infinite nature in your heart, which is pure love. So go deep into the infinity of your heart and Shiva is not a Mr. Shiva. Is a it's a it's a name that we in our puny understand, limited understanding, 
gift to the side of the Lord who cannot be described by words. The infinity, one of the main characteristics of the Lord. And in reality, we share the same infinity. So we all have had infinite lives. And Shankara showed it in his commentaries of the Gita. He focused and showed in much more uh, explainable words the real meaning of Gita by referring to Krishna as the infinity and the teacher of infinite love. Teaching why it is important to do when we are born on this planet. How to serve and fulfill our duty without looking for any reward. So we do whatever we are born to be. And everyone has got a family to take care of. Everyone lives in a particular society which we have to serve. And everyone has got, everyone has got a higher calling to find his own true infinite nature inside himself or herself and serve others. Participating in the process of Exchange of love, unconditional love, that is what he does. So, so Shankara's commentary, he wrote in, he wrote in Sanskrit, I'm going to read, people can, who can sing, they sing this song beautifully, but it's in Sanskrit. I'll read it out and I'll read to you the meaning. And you have to go deep inside yourself. Because Shiva, the infinity of the God or the infinite, infinitely powerful God is you. Mano Yahankar Chitani Naham Nachot Jihe Nagran Nitre I'm not the mind, nor intellect, nor ego, nor the reflection of inner self. I'm not the five senses. I'm beyond that. I'm not the either, not the earth, nor the fire, nor the wind. I am the eternal knowing and bliss. I am Shiva, love, pure consciousness. Na prana sanjo na ve panjavayu na vachapta dhatu unvat panje kosh na vakya nipado na chopa dipayu chedanan rupa shivoham shivoham. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. Neither can I be turned as energy, nor five types of brain, nor the seven material essences, nor the five coverings. Neither am I the five instruments of elimination, procreation, motion, grasping or speaking. I am indeed that eternal knowing and bliss. Shiva, love, and pure consciousness. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. Name de Shirage, Name Loba, Moho, Me, the Naiva, Naneva, Matis, Bhava, Nadharmo, Nacharto, Nakamo, Namoksa, Chidan, and the Rupa, Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. I have no hatred or dislike, nor affiliation or liking, nor greed, nor delusion, nor pride or haughtiness, nor feelings of envy or jealousy. I have no duty, nor any money, nor any desire. Not even liberation. I am indeed that eternal knowing and bliss, Shiva, love, and pure consciousness. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. 
न पुण्य न पाप न सौख्य न दुखम न मंत्रो न तीर्थन न वेदा न यज्ञ अह भोज नैव भोज्य न भोक्ता चिदानंद रूप शिवोहम शिवोहम I have neither virtue nor vice. I do not commit sins or good deeds, nor have happiness or sorrow, pain or pleasure. I do not need mantras. I do not need holy places. I do not need scriptures, rituals, or sacrifices. I am none of the tribe of the observer of one who experiences or the process of observing or experience or any object being observed and experienced. I am that eternal knowing and bliss, Shiva, love, and pure consciousness. Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. Natemrit. I do not have fear of death as I do not have death. I have no separation from my true self, no doubt about my experience existence, nor have I discrimination. I have no father, I have no mother. Nor did I have a birth, nor will I die. I am not a relative, I am neither a friend, neither am I a guru, nor am I the student. I am only pure consciousness, love, and the existence. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. Shivoham, 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 Shivoham. Ahanirvirkalpo nirakar rupo vibhutva chisarvat sarvindi indriyanam nachaskat nachmukti nameya chidanan rupa shivoham 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 shivoham. I am all pervasive. I am without any attributes and without any form. I have neither attachments to the world nor to the liberation. I have no witness for anything because I am everything, everywhere, everyone. I am only Shiva, pure love. Pure consciousness, pure bliss. Shivoham, Shivoham, Shivoham. Shivo, Shivo. Shivoham, 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 Being identified with via Shivoham. Shiv am I, the infinite love, 
neither the body, neither the mind, neither the intellect, neither the energy. An unconditional and infinite and inexplicable force of pure love, bliss and knowledge. Accepting your true identity, you become infinite love, you become grandiose. There is nothing small about you. There are no small desires. The only desire now you have is the desire to serve. Om Namah Shivaya. Om. Initiate yourself for the people who are coming for the first time. Focus on to the center of the forehead. This is the primary meditation technique from Gita, from the scripture. So it is pure and perfect. Focusing in the center of the forehead. Draw any symbol, but preferably Om. It's written like a three with a tail. Any which way. The intention is important and initiating yourself by focusing your mind on the symbol of Om. Your consciousness takes the form of Om and the divine powers are initiated and activated. Your head loses with the emergence of Om in the head. All your heavy thoughts of the past, whatever had happened, nine years, six years, 17, all these things vanish. You're full of golden joy as there is no heavy thought which is clamping. The heart, the heart opens like a flower deep inside this open like a lotus heart is a temple of pure joy. Inside this temple, it is you, the true you, a golden light sitting peacefully and radiating love. Om Namo Shiva. Om, focus in the light in the center of the heart. Namo, spread it everywhere, the golden light. Shiva, just dissolve. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Now that you know what Shiva means, the Om Namo Shiva is even more powerful. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Shiva. 
see yourself from tomorrow with the power to pray and meditate with any prayer, with any meditation. Have a smiling heart which is radiating love to everyone at whom you had held any anger. And that's how you become a spiritual person. To become godlike, you start to move towards God, towards Brahma. You start to move towards the infinite love. By seeing infinite love, starting with all the events in your life that you had held any anger at. And sending love to them, see yourself in three days maximum, healed of your past traumas, etc., that you were keeping in your head, so that you are a co-creator of your universe. You see yourself as a healed person with a smiling heart. That's what a healed person is. Serving and living your life joyously in service to another. others. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Everyone is sending love to Robin. Everyone from the level of heart sends love to Vera. She is sending love to her daughter. Everyone is sending love to Mila. She has some work-based things. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Everyone is sending love to Kenzie. She still has anger at men, so she sends love to all the father figures. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Sending love to Zarina. Om Namo Shiva. So she's successful in personal and professional life. And can take the journey that she wants to. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Jean can unlock more powers. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. She can help others. That's what she wants to. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Hal can improve his health and spiritual powers. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Laura has a laughing and singing heart. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Ira is fully, wants to achieve enlightenment. She does that. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Heather is able to cross over her relationship issues. Clarity regarding it. Om Namo Shiva. Gale sees herself as healthy and able to manage her health and relationships with children and the family. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Kart has got mood swings, so she's able to move that. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Nilam has got more harmony in the family. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Catherine is able to help her relatives. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Preeti is able to help the person that she wants to help. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Marina is able to find more joy. Om na in meditation and in teachings. Om Namo Shiva. And convince her family to join. Om Namo Shiva. Om Namo Shiva. Om Trem Bakam Vidam, Subandim Pushti Vartanam, Murvarak Me Bandanam, Ritur Mukshim Amrata, Om Bhuburku Sahatat Savayaturanyam, Bargo Deva Sadim, Yo Yona Prachutat, Om Sarve Bhontaskinam, Sarve Shantu Niraman, Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu, Makashatikti, Om Purnamadi Purnamade Purna, Purnamade Chate, Purna Se Purnamade Purni Meva Vishitri, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om Let 
go of all heaviness and with a smiling heart. Order your future, create your future in which you have a smiling heart, no matter what happens on the planet and you're helping others. Om Namo Shivaya. Om Namo Shivaya. Om Namo Shivaya. May all your experiences come true within the next year. Ritual aspirations come through very fast. Om Namo Shivaya. Om. If you have questions, you can ask. If you don't.